What is up, guys? It is Coaster Watch here. Today, I got another awesome coaster review for you guys. This is of L freaking Toro at Six Flags Great Adventure. This is the review that most of you guys have probably been waiting for ever since my Lightning Rod review came out. How does this stack up to Lightning Rod? Find out now. So, El Toro, I think, is personally the best coaster of Great Adventure. It stands at a height of what? I don't even remember. I think it's like 181 feet, has a maximum vertical angle of 78 degrees. Drop of 176 feet. Um, no inversions. It is a wood coaster. This is an Intamin prefabricated wooden roller coaster. What this means is that they basically, like, they have the pieces already, like, kind of built together. And they just kind of, like, put it together like a jigsaw puzzle once they get to the park. Um, the thing that surprised me but with this coaster is that King Daka was built in 05, which was a huge investment. Then they built this. So I'm sure this wasn't too big of an investment because wooden coasters tend to be cheaper. Um, this is one of the only wooden coasters in the world to feature a cable lift hill, which is really cool element because you just shoot up that lift hill. It's nice and fast. It's one of my favorite lift hills. I think I want to come out with a video on my top five favorite lift hills. I'm being dead serious right now because I've been on some pretty freaking cool ones. So, um, so you make a right hand turn, left hand turn out of the station. Sorry, and you go up this cable lift hill. You go up very high. Um, it's it's crazy to see that King Dakar's airtime hill is eye level with you, and it's crazy to like see that you're not even halfway up King Dakar, and it's really cool. So then you head down this first drop, and let me just tell you, in the front row, it's pretty good, but in the back row, oh my goodness. That's the thing with this coaster. You must ride in the back row. If you can ride twice, go ahead and get a ride in the front, but you must ride back row if you want this review to be... Um, What's it called? Adjacent to yours, let's say. Head down this drop. I think this is the best drop I've ever been on. It is pure ejector airtime. This, honestly, this drop is just incredible. I've never experienced a drop this good before. It is ridiculous. Better than Mako, better than Shikra, better than Lightning Rod's drop by far. This thing is just pure insanity. And you head into this first um, airtime hill, which is... A mixture of floater and ejector airtime, like what people have said, it's e pure ejector airtime, but it lasts forever. It is fantastic. Same thing with this next hill. Um, and then you head into um, this huge long bank turn, dive towards the ground. Then you make another upward bank turn to the left, head down another airtime moment. And then, honestly, this little section, as you're going back, heading towards the lift hill, that's the weakest part of the ride right there. Um, after the first two Camelback Hills, that little section is very weak. It's, I think that's personally the roughest part of the ride, and it just doesn't really do too much for me. And that next hill after gives, I guess, floater air time, that little small hill after. And then you go into, I think, which is the highlight of the ride, the Rolling Thunder Hill. Oh, my gosh. Basically what this thing is, <clears throat> um, after that smaller airtime hill, um, you make a left-hand helix, and then you dive straight to the ground. It's at a very steep angle. That's why it gives such great airtime. If you're in the middle rows, it kind of sucks, but if you are in the front row, it is, like, the most sudden thing ever. Like, it's just, like, intense bank turn, and then, like, negative 4 Gs. Like, it is nuts. Um, and then if you're riding back row, I, I, I think it's better in the back row. A lot of people say it's better front, but the back, oh, my gosh, like... You have more time to prepare for it. Like, the front row is more sudden, but the back is more, like, hold on to your pants. So then after that, you go into what I like to call, what a lot of enthusiasts like to call, the Intamin twistiness section, um, where basically um, it's just a bunch of twists back and forth. Like, you swerve in one direction, then it's a quick transition into another direction. Um, and that's another highlight of this ride. I'll talk about that in a second. And you go through, like, a couple of small airtime hills, like one that gives, like, floater, I guess. And then you hit the final break run. This thing, if there were three words to describe this thing, it would be intense, fast-paced. Well, that's two words. And airtime. And airtime, yeah. Um, Jay, all my little brothers here, say hi, Jaden. Hi. Um, what do you think about El Toro? It's not El Toro. It's El freaking Toro. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so... <clears throat> Of course, what everyone talks about is the airtime, and if you want the best airtime experience, sit in the back row. The front row gives solid airtime. Like, I, I honestly had this around, like, my number three spot before. What? Yeah, when, it, when we rode in the front row. Um, it, it was, like, honestly, it was, like, near Kumba. I thought Lightning Rod was 
so much better, and I was kind of disappointed. I was like, huh. Then I sat in that row 17 magic seat, and I was just like, shocked. I was like, oh my goodness. So then, rode a few rides, and we came back to that at night. We rode row 17 twice at night. I, we could have rode it a lot more, but we had to go. Like, there was literally no line for it, like, the last hour of the night. That would have been, oh my gosh, but... Yeah, make sure you do ride this thing in the back at night. It is pure insanity. Like, there's no other way to describe it. I know I sound like Ryan right now, but it is actually pure insanity. This ride is perfect. Now, the one thing that everyone talks about is the roughness. It's not that bad. If you've ridden classic wooden roller coasters, and if you've ridden lightning rod, that, that's about what you should expect. You know, the first time I rode it, I got a little bit of a headache. But when I rode it the last two times in the day, I was I was good. So, like I said, pure ejector every time. I got stapled every single freaking time. But I'm, man, that's why I wanted to ride it at night. So then they're just like kind of like not really pushing down on you. They're just kind of checking quick to get the train through. <clears throat> that's why I wanted to stay till close and just marathon it. But we had to go apparently. No, I'm just kidding. But. This thing is freaking insane. And another thing that no one talks about is the intensity. Those turns are ridiculous. Oh my gosh. And that's the thing about this coaster. I mean, the airtime already gets so much hype. The drop gets so much hype. The freaking rolling thunder hill itself gets so much hype. All that lives up to it. But no one talks about these freaking turns. You get so much intensity on those. Sure, they're a little bit rough and they'll rat you, rat rattle you around a little bit. You might, get, you might honestly even get a headache, but it is perfect. Now, going back to the roughness, the roughness adds to the intensity. It gives you a headache, but that's the purpose of this ride. It is so intense. Ride Voyage at night with trims off. Everyone says you get a headache after it, but they say it's still the most intense roller coaster on Earth. So, you're, you guys already know, I'm giving this coaster a perfect 10 out of 10. Now, here's the ultimate question. Does it beat Lightning Rod? I don't know. We'll see. I'm coming out with my top 25 soon, guys. That is going to be an awesome video. Um, I'm going to have lots of great footage. If you guys know anywhere I could download POVs, uh, let me know, please. Um, I would really like to do that. I want to make that video really, really nice for you guys. So let me know what your thoughts are on El Toro. Let me know <laughs> if this isn't your number one. Because if this isn't your number one, or if this isn't at least in your top five, and you have ridden it in the magic seat. I wanna um I wanna talk to you for a little bit. So thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.